Shields up, Iron Breakers. Brooke here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. In the last episode, we beat the ever living snot out of Radon, but not before he beat the ever living snot out of us several times. But, uh, yeah. So, an interesting little detail here, which is the fact that I closed the game and reopened it between episodes because obviously I wasn't able to record more. Uh, yesterday, and so I had to close the game. I was just going to leave my PC running for ages. Uh, made uh, Blade and Alexander bail out. They're gone. I was expecting that to happen after I rested at the side of Grace here, but, you know, they beat me to it. We're going to put two more points into strength, and Bob's your uncle. Now, an important thing, I did tell you guys I was going to be running around the, uh, the environment here to see if I could find anything, and I did. There is a dungeon at the end there that we haven't done. As you can see, I marked it with a skull. Skull is basically things that I haven't done. For those of you that I haven't caught on to that fact yet, I usually put a skull whenever there's something that I haven't really gotten around to doing. And as you can see, we've been slacking a lot when it comes to these dungeons. But we're going to be returning to the entrance here because I want to see what happens when we do. I want to see what the changes are in Redmain Castle. I want to see if those doors are open and I just get to go in there and loot the place dry. Because if I can, that's precisely what I'm going to do. Interesting. So the entrance sends us back to the bridge at Kaolin. Now, the cur I'm curious about whether or not the castle doors are going to be open. That's curiosity number one. Number two is I'm wondering if there's... I actually like stuff that you might get by falling off of this bridge. But I don't think so. So we're going to very quickly take a look at the um, at the castle from, from the actual front. I just want to see if the door is open now that the festival, technically speaking, is over. Uh, I also have to go over to the round hole table. I just want to explore the castle a little bit first. Nope, door remains closed. But hey, I beat General Radon. What's the deal? Why do I not get to go inside? Let me in. Let me in! Okay, I guess they're not going to let us in. Fine. We'll just teleport in. We will teleport in and see if there's more dialogue to be had with any of the characters that were present during that fight. I mean, in our version, there was nobody there, but I guess obviously the game considers that, you know, oh, you use summons during this fight, canonically speaking. Blade and Alexander are gone. The lady that gave us the bow is still here. She gives us another bow. So she, ju she just bows, that's it. I like this dude's hammer, by the way. That's a nice looking hammer. Where's a uh, homeboy that started the challenge and does he have anything else to say? I guess not. Oh, there he is. Hey, my dude, my guy, what's up? I killed his ass. At last, the war festival has ended. He seems relieved. Champion, you have our gratitude. The Do I know? Spectacular. <clears throat> General Radan is surely pleased. Is he? Festering with rot and crippled by madness. All he wanted was an honorable death. Okay, is that it? Finally, my work is done. I'm no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. It's time I went on my way. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. Okay. It's time I went. May we meet again. Okay, that's that's all he's gonna say. This door remains closed. Looks like most of the doors are going to remain closed, which sucks because I know there's items behind a lot of these doors. I'm gonna have to figure out how to access them later because 
I also don't want to waste hours upon hours just trying to figure out every little, like, I've kind of accepted that this playthrough I'm probably not going to figure out how to get to that door and how to get behind the door in Castle Stormvale. So maybe I'll look up how to do it after I finish the game. But uh, yeah, I can, I can figure that stuff out. And it looks like these doors are going to be following a similar path, maybe. Which is one of those things that, like, I could, I believe that there's definitely something back here. I think in some of them you can even see, like, items and stuff. But it looks like beating Radon doesn't necessarily unlock anything in the castle, so... I just want to take another look here. Uh, the little doggos aren't here anymore. Little doggies. Could it be that the... I'm just thinking, could it be that the thing is friggin' invisible? And I just can't see it. Oh wait, there's an item here now. This item wasn't here before. Golden Rune 6. At least I don't think this item was here before. Was it? I'm pretty sure I was very thorough about it. Oh well. Uh, let's just see if one of the other doors is open, but otherwise I'm just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna move on with my life. I yeah, see this door is closed still. Oh, but I've been to the other side of that. The thing is... Oh, wait, you're here. Oh my god. Really? End me. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. I can't friggin' believe it. These doors might just be completely pointless. That Like, the sound of that treasure scarab was the one thing that had me going like, there's something about these doors. There's a way to go inside these doors. And maybe there is, but now I'm beginning to think that they might have just been, you know, whatever. Uh, either way, let's jump into Table of Lost Grace and see what's happening over there. I mean, General Radon, his weapons gotta be strength, right? His stuff has got to be strength based. It's probably gonna suck because it's not gonna be a hammer. Like, his weapons were ugly. Journey ugly as sin. Yeah, 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 yeah. General Radon, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Malay was brought to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's East. And by my reckoning, Radan remains there, even now. Though I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. He didn't Wow, you don't even acknowledge that I've already killed him, huh? Fair enough. Fair enough. Nothing happening on this dude. Let me just uh, quickly check up on the other room. I just want to see if anything different happened there. I highly doubt it though. Nope. These corpse is gone. This door is closed. Oh well. Tis what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. So we're... I don't think I have enough to really upgrade my hammer. So... Yeah, everything appears to be about the same. So the most important thing now is to talk to the Finger Maiden. See what she has to say for herself. Now that we've defeated General... Radan. Ah, you have returned. What is it? Let's take a look, see here. Star Scourge's great sword. 
And the lion great bow. Star Scourge is great. Really, dude? Intelligence? That guy? I guess he did have the powers of gravity, so it makes a little bit of sense. Curved great swords of black steel wielded by General Radon. Pair of weapons decorated with a lion mane motif. A pair of weapons? Radon earned considerable renown as the Star Scourge in his youth, and it is said that it was during this time he engraved the gravity crest upon these blades. Unique skill, Star Caller Cry, bring the two swords together and roar into the skies, pulling in enemies with a gravitational wave. Follow up with an additional input, the slam down with gravity infused swords. So the fact that it says swords, I'm assuming that you can basically, this is basically like a two wielding weapon, just like Radon had. Radon's rain archery performed from a low stance, ready to bow, fire sudden flurry of arrows up into the sky. The arrows were pour on foes like rain. That is nice. Oh, wait! You can buy their armor after you kill them? I didn't know that. Dude, I want Radon's armor. His armor looked badass. 12,000. We're buying, we're buying this. We're gonna grind for this. We need 20,000? 20,000, 16, 16 plus 12. I'll take the helmet too. Screw it, the whole set. Uh, so 8,000, 8,000, 16,000, 24,000, 36,000. 36,000 and we can buy the whole thing. Okay, I'll come back for that. I'll come back for that. Thank you very much. I didn't realize you could, you could buy those after you killed them. Interestingly enough, I couldn't buy... Godfrey? Godfrey? I think it was Godfrey's armor. No, Godric's. Godric's armor, but, you know, he's dead now. He's freaking dead now. He's dead, it's all that matters. Now then. So, so far, out of the big major boys, the weapon that is the most interesting to me is the axe. Godric's axe is the most interesting weapon to me. Alright, but now that we have that... And even that, I wouldn't say, is more interesting than the hammer that I'm currently wielding, so... I think we're doing pretty good for ourselves. So, like I stated, I believe that this might be where the thing landed. I'm not 100% sure. I suspect that's the case. So, I want to kind of, like, get a view of the place. So, we're going to go to the Rot View Balcony, right? Because there's nothing else that I wanted to do before. Yeah, we're just going to go to Rot View Balcony. I'm going to take a look at it, and we're going to see if we can find Blade. If that thing in the map is actually a change, or maybe the map always looked like that, and I'm just being weirdly paranoid. Yeah, it looks like the map might have just always looked like that, and I'm a goddamn idiot. No! Final Fantasy XIV, man. It'll get you. I mean, I don't see anything that indicates... Wait, I've never gone down there. Why is there a ruin there that I've never gone down to? Also, I gotta change things around. For some reason, I changed this and I actually regret it. Uh, Marika Scar Seal. Redagon Scar Seal, Sor Seal. Greatly raises attributes. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, shall I keep the jumping one? No, let's go for the lifesteal. <clears throat> uh, let's try to get down here without dying. This should be enough, right? Yep. And let's actually open that place up. I can't believe I've been down here. And it Have I even been down here? I don't even know anymore. Forsaken Ruins. No, I haven't been down there. This is the first time I've been down here. Can I help you? That's a big crow. Of 
Poor Frost Stomp, so good. Disgusting. And by the way, I'm not gonna stop myself from using it. It's like, if you start going down that path and it's like, well, I mean... Should you upgrade your weapon past a certain level? Should you use summons? Should you use spirits? Should you... Should you use bleed? Should you use point? Like, when you start going down that path... It's like, I'm... I'm gonna try not to abuse it too hard. I don't think I did in the fight with, um, Radon, but... I'm not gonna stop myself from using it. It's like the best Ash of War I've found so far. Like, what do you want from me? Not to mention it specifically grants a debuff that increases the damage I deal to enemies as a melee user. Cannot be understated. Smithing Stone 4. And something tells me that this- I mean, considering Radon's fight, this thing is not just gonna be free wins, so... Golden Rune. Although, I also want to try out the fire one, because there's like um, a new fire one I got uh, a while ago that I still haven't used. <clears throat> you guys know me, I like fire. I like fire. Two keys? No, one key, okay. Stone Sword key was lost with use. It's dark down here. Sword of Saint Trina. Some tells me I'm not gonna like this weapon. Sword of Saint Trina. Wait. I got the Moon Veil? I don't remember getting this. Masterpiece of Salian Swordsmith. Light and wreaths the blade when sheathed, explaining. I think this was not even that long ago. Sheathed the blade, holding it at the hip composed stance. Follow up with either a normal or strong attack to draw the blade. Great speed for an instant slash attack. Both both attacks fire off a wave of light. I've, I've, I've heard that this weapon is like one of the most broken weapons in the game. Everybody's going like off on this weapon. Like, oh my god, it's so good. Causes blood loss and deals magic damage. Sounds good. If you're into long swords, if you're a filthy long sword main. Ah, uh, what was the weapon that we're looking for? This sword. Sword of Saint Trina. It's got magical damage, scales off of intelligence as well. Split damage, probably not going to be particularly good. Causes sleep buildup. Huh. Silver sword carried by clerics of Saint Trina inflicts sleep ailment on foes. Saint Trina is an enigmatic figure. Some say she's a Com comely young girl. Others are sure he is a boy. Oh, we got like a Gwendolyn, uh, a Gwendolyn self-insert kind of. The only certainty is that their appearance with self-insert. That's so dumb. What the hell are you talking about, Rukun? A Gwendolyn reference. The only certainty is that their appearance was as sudden as their disappearance. Unique skill: mists of slumber release a faint purple mist that spreads across a wide frontwards area. So, this is actually interesting. Does it look good? It's got the straight sword moveset. Yep, straight sword moveset, pretty good. I like the straight sword moveset, it's very good. And then you have Mists of Slumber, which would throw out like a mist if you actually had this stuff. Uh, and the weapon itself deals sleep damage, which is cool. If you have the stats for it, I would imagine. But obviously, we are basic caveman. So we can do- what the hell? I equipped it and unequipped it. Double pressed it. Good job. Good job, team. Okay, we'll keep that. I guess that this is just to get that sword. So, I take it that this wasn't the thing fall. I think it would have been cool if you could see, like, a, a gaping hole or something that was left behind by the thing falling down. Oh, look at this little prick. Must be a Klingon from Star Trek. Let's 
Somber smithing stone four. Nothing that good. Uh, wait. Why did I never run into that? I don't remember ever going through here. Wait, have I gone there? There's like a little fortress up there. And apparently I haven't gone there yet. Well. No time is as good as the now. Let's go. You boys have fun. I feel like at some point off camera, I'll need to come back here and farm these guys. Well, I was going to say farm their armor, but I'm probably just going to buy Radon's armor. Be done with that. Alrighty then. Damn it. Got him. Flame of the Red Mains. Okay, so we now have two flaming uh, ashes of war. I'll take a look at those a little bit later. Red Main Surcoat! <laughs> I guess I don't have to farm it. Was it just there or was I lucky? Oh. Well, that's not very convenient. I'll just uh, take shelter from the rain here. Are you for real, bro? See, it doesn't rain through here. This is fine. Explosive Great Bolt. Did I not swap my armor? I wanted to. Thank you. Yeah, this one looks cooler. I like it. That's where I saw an item in here. No? I'm one of you! Oh, that's the guy. He's probably gonna drop that, uh, that Art of War, too. Dude, that's a big-ass bow you got there. Let me help you with that. Is that Radon's bow? Dude's just rocking Radon's bow out of nowhere? What the hell? Seriously, he didn't drop it? I figured he would drop the Ash of War. He was instructed by the great General Radon himself on the art of bowmanship. Okay, we're gonna have to murder. Whoa, 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 my guy! Good job. You win. But my hammer hits harder. I can hear another... Oh, no, that's just flask recovery. So not really a big deal. Okay, time to figure out how to infiltrate this fortress right here. There's a stake of Marika. Door is closed. So we're going to have to search for another way. Uh, oh, I was going to say that looks like a death drop, but in reality it doesn't. These branches is totally intended. Yep, there it is. Nope. No, sir. No, sir. No, thank you. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What your boys doing down here? You guys having a good time? I want one of those. They look like goddamn Wrath and Meow. They look cool. Oh, there's actually an item back there. Dealing with two of these is probably going to be a little bit annoying, though. And that item doesn't seem to be that important. We can deal with that later. Let's actually go up the castle now. See what's going on. What's happening in here? What your boys up to? Hello?
Port Gale. Oh, there's a gateway here that leads to the inside of, uh, of Castle Redmayne. That might lead me to some of those hidden rooms I was talking about the other day. Ba-boom! Do -do 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 -do. Warming stone. How nice of you. Very well. Sounds fine. Hello? Mind taking a chill pill there, buddy? Ooh, big night. Hi, can I have that shield? That shield looks cool, man. I guess that's a no. I guess that's a no, huh? That's fine. I like your armor, though. That's a nice set of armor. Redmain Knight Gauntlets. Are there any good? I don't think they're going to be better than mine. Eh, different stats, same weight. They seem to lose four stats to gain two. No. I'll keep my mausoleum gauntlets. Thank you very much. Excuse me, sir! Sir, hello? Convene the festival of, the festival of war. Honor General Radon with a warrior's glory. It's in your hands, Sir Jaren. Now it's in mine. I did it. Star Scourge Heirloom. This should boost gravity spells. So maybe intelligence? Raises strength. The mightiest hero of the demigods confronted the falling stars alone, and thus did he crush them, his conquest sealing the very fate of the stars. These guys are going to go the way of the dinosaurs, and this guy single-handedly stopped it. That's a lot of strength. That's five strength. Nice, I'll take it. No more lifesteal. Lifesteal is so minimal anyway. We'll just have tons of strength now. Mm -hmm. What you guys up to up here? Is this where we have the teleportation? Yep, there it is. This should lead us to Castle Redmain. So I'll eventually want to do this, but first we want to get the rest of the stuff that's in this castle. Okay, and for that, we're going to have to deal with homeboy downstairs. Oh, there's something down there. How do I get there? Do I have to jump from here? I think I might have to jump from here. Or from here? No, this is way too far. So I think I have to actually jump from here? there that's a that's a tough jump Oop, nip whiffed it there's a door here though what's going on oh a chest Qatar that's a fist weapon right yep Qatar impaling thrusts that's nice 110 critical Imported dagger designed with a rather unique handle. The blade can be swung about as the extension of one's fist. Alright. <clears throat> uh, there is a ladder that goes up there. Okay, so we can do that. I'm actually going to try some. Oh wow, she costs so much mana. What if I was to put her up here? How overpowered would that be? Wait, why is she on her knees? Is she always on her knees? Is it is it an, an albinoric thing? That is weird. Well. Uh, interesting. This is a one way down when we go down there. All right. Wow, all that damage. You get him, girl. I feel like this one's pretty low. Pretty low level compared to what I am right now. 
What? Are you kidding me? You are. Okay. She deals no damage. Ash of War, Lion's Claw. I'm going to imagine that this is for... This is for fist weapons, right? Lion's Claw, heavy, grants... Uh, usable on swords, axes, and hammers. No. It grants affinity and skill to an armament. Lion's Claw, skill the Red Mains, who fought alongside General Redon. Somersault forward, striking foes with armament. What? Somersault forward? I like where this is going. A rune arc. Nothing else, really? Okay. Interesting that you can't open the gate. Still closed. Still closed. I like how Antenna's still with us. That's cool. Oh, we got uh, mana recovery. Alrighty. I'll take that. Uh, we've been to that side. We haven't been to this one. Oh, how am I supposed- Wait a minute, I can't get there from here? How the hell am I supposed to get there? There's gotta be a way to get there. I think that you can't just jump the way that I did. You have to actually jump on top of the... Oh, God! Never mind. Never mind. I don't know how to how to go to that place. But I know that there's an item there. I know that there's a way to get there. And it's gonna eat me up from the inside. But I don't know exactly what the way it is to get to that side. Uh, if I was to... no. Not through here. This is the ladder I climbed to come to the castle. Then we go through here. Wait, if I break it, that means I can get a running start. Which makes things considerably easier. I think I can do it. <laughs> Completely overthinking. Completely overthinking. Whoa. Careful there. Uh, yep. From here we can go down here. Come to the item. Uff! Dude. A goddamn mushroom. That, that's real funny. That, that's, you got jokes. Oh! Does this open the door? I assume this opens the gates. So now I have to go back up. Alright, what's the name of this fort anyway? Because I'll probably have to include that in this uh, episode's title. What's the name of this place? Oh, Fort Gale, of course. Gale, jail. It's not really jail. But anyway. Let's see about where in Redmain this portal takes us to. And I wonder if it would have made a difference into General Radon's fight had we found this thing before. I hope it doesn't take us to exactly the same spot. I'm going to be very disappointed if that's the case. <sighs> Guess I'm going to be very disappointed. Um, alrighty then. So, 
That takes care of all of that business. So the next thing that I want to do is come up here to this tower, which I think we can access from the isolated merchant's shack, right? Because I want to see if I can claim the great rune of Radon, because I get a feeling that that one's going to be powerful as hell. That is assuming we can't just equip it, right? Yeah, the only one we have unlocked is Godric, because we're supposed to go to the top of the towers. Mm, making that climb can eventually cost me souls. So I might spend some of those in the armor already. We're going to go buy the first piece of his armor set. And we have to go to Nokron, the Eternal City, where supposedly the rock fell down on. But again, I wish there was... I mean, there might be a mark in the world from where it fell, but I haven't found it yet. Uh, I want this. Yes. Supposedly, I should be able to change this, right? Alter garments. Yeah, I can change Radon's lion armor. It becomes lighter, no cloak. But if I am going to change it, I should let... I should let Bach do it, but I haven't found Bach in a while, so... For now, we're not gonna change it. I'm just gonna go... Boom. We can still roll, looking damn spiffy. I want his helm next, because our helmet looks atrocious. And again, we might need to use his pants, because these pants don't really match with this armor, but sure. Anyhow. This is just all better than what we're using, right? Yeah. Alright, now that we have that, uh, let's go to the tower then, and see what we can, what we can make happen. Alrighty then. I am... You again? Very well. Oh god, this is a tough one. So I actually decided against smashing my face into this one because he just feels like a one-shot machine. Uh, and I'm sure that I could eventually whittle him down and get him down, but I just feel like I'm even more on the level than usual for this specific mob. So we'll come back later when we have a better weapon. We already lost like 3,000 runes and a whole bunch of time, which to be honest, I don't have a whole lot of time to record today to begin with, so I could have recorded two episodes, and because of that little death montage there, it's going to be down to one episode, but uh, we're going to be heading to the tower and see what we can make happen there. Uh, oh yeah, I should mark this place with a skull, though. Not a skull. We'll mark it with something else. We'll mark that dude's shack with something else. 
And it makes me wonder if there's one of those at every merchant's shack, because there's another shack that we've unlocked in, in like, Weeping Peninsula. Can you leave, dude? Can, can you just, like, look, can we not? Just leave. Just piss off. Are you get That's it. You've gone, friggin' done it now. You could have left. Oh god. That hurts a lot. What the hell? Okay, try this. Wait, what's wrong with this dog? Wait, what? What the hell? What the hell is wrong with this dog? Did you see how much health he had? 1800 souls? Oof. Anyway, I'm gonna need to go ahead and put something different here. What am I gonna put here? How about a tree? I think I'll put a tree. Grass. Because I don't want to put a skull. Well, I guess if I put a skull and I know that it's in a merchant's shack, I know what's, what the deal is. It means there's a nighttime enemy there. That's another thing that is actually annoying as hell. Is every time you're fighting a nighttime enemy, you die. You have to go back and like, okay, wait until nighttime. Then after you wait until nighttime, you have to rest on the thing. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. It's, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, let's see. I think we'll go, what, to that one? There's a couple of paths we can go through. Oh, I guess we can cross over to the other side from there. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, God. Let's not go with the horse. Uh, we'll just go here. Drop down here. We'll go talk with homeboy over here. Sup? These boys are tough. These boys ain't messing around. Also, apparently, you can go all the way down there. Is that an enemy? That looks like an enemy. Those bushes? Those bushes look real suspicious. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't think I can make that jump. And I can't make the jump here, so we're not even going to try it. Maybe we'll climb down the tower at some point. Ooh, am I gonna die jumping here? My guy, don't bother. Pretty sure I saw an item here, right? We can't go further that way because that thing is blocking us. Though, we can cross over there. Wait, didn't I see an item in the in here somewhere? I could swear I saw an item around in here. Anyway, we can just jump here. Uh, yeah! Dude, where the hell am I even going? Why am I doing this? Oh, that was great, Rory. Good job. Wait, technically it wasn't that bad, because we can go down from here. Oh, we can go down already. What am I doing? Actually, I want to take the ground floor approach now. Now I want to see what's at the bottom of the tower. Oh, 
Lunark, Arterial Leaf, Somber Smithing Stone 9? What the hell? Somber Smithing Stone 9! Like it's nothing. Just laying around. I guess you could say this tower is probably pretty important. Considering the general health that I've seen from the enemies in here. Interesting, the bushes look differently from up, up top. Maybe I'm just a paranoid creepo. Anyway, we have to go back up now because there doesn't appear to be a path this way. Right? Yep. No path this way. So let's not take that weird path that I took this time around and let's just try to take the more linear path of up the ladders. Did I miss the item? Oh, what the hell? So I somehow ended up not coming this way, huh? I'm curious as to where I went wrong. I definitely messed up at some point. Okay, so we... Oh, because I went up the ladder here. Okay. In that case, we don't want to go up the ladder. Last time I went up the ladder, things didn't work out for me so well. Okay, we'll go this way. Oh, this is bad. I can't move. So this ladder is not particularly useful. We have to go from the other side. And then we have to go up this ladder. Because we went all the way to that side. That didn't work out. So I guess we try to go left, but left is blocked. So we don't want to jump down. Wait. No, it's not, because I can go up. So last time we went left until we eventually ran into a dead end. So this time, we're, last time we went right. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, God. Mother. Really? Really, dude? Ugh. Oh, come on. Dude, this is terrible. Oh god, there's another ladder there. I 
do I get a feeling that eventually I'm going to have to go to that ladder? I think that ladder might be a safeguard, though. Oh, we're in after this, hopefully. Oh, yeah, we in there. Divine Tower of Kaelid. Time to unlock this bad boy's rune. Yeah, buddy. Assuming these will basically head to the exact same position. Oh, no, this one goes down. Interesting. So, first we're going to go up, then we'll events investigate down. Big elevator up. I just realized these places have the same lighting effects that we see in the underground rivers. I'm always going to bang these and look for secret walls and whatnot. Ah, but I doubt it. Miyazaki has a way of making paranoids of us, making us all paranoid. I'd say making paranoids of us all, but that doesn't even make sense. Damn. Would be cool if I could see the, oh. Wait, what? Oh, right. For a second, I was like, that's not Castle Redmain. And of course it's not. That's the place where Gronk is. Is that That's also not Castle Redmain. That's one of the forts, right? This direction? Yeah, it's one of the forts. This fort. Castle Redmain would be much, much further south. Into, yeah, there it is. That'd be Castle Redmain. There it is. Everything looks so small from here. It's like, oh look, there's Celia. There's the swamp. Two fingers. Radon's Great Rune. Hopefully it gives me tons and tons and tons of strength. Raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. So this one's all attributes. This one's HP, FP, and stamina. Uh, it's alright. I'd rather have strength. Great Rune of the Unborn. Used to perfect rebirth. Perfect rebirth. We still have to climb on top of the other tower to figure that out. But these are just basically two fingers that were wasted. See, the, the reason I'm saying that I think the two fingers are just like roots of the earth tree is because if you look at these, these look like two fingers, right? And they look like they're made out of bark. And you can see bark coming out of them when we hit them. So that's why I suspect that they're just like... You know, the, the big responsible for this is the Erd tree. I don't even think that this is what the Erd tree looks like. I think this is all an illusion. But that's just me being paranoid at this point. Alright, team. We've gotten what we came for. Uh, wait. If I've gotten this rune, would the old lady be happy with me? I wonder. This episode might be a little bit longer than usual because of that time wasted in the boss fight. 
Are you happy with me? I got another rune. No, she doesn't care. Yeah, this appears to be the most appealing thing so far in terms of god weapons. And it's just a great axe, it's not even like colossal. Like, this is colossal. This is just regular great axe. Problem with this is too much dexterity, dude. I could rebirth for dexterity, but mm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna be calling it here, guys. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. If you guys are enjoying this playthrough, then make sure to hit it up with the like button. Helps out a lot. Subscribe, bell notification icon, all that jazz. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go home. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out. Stay strong. Stay safe.